Haley, thank you. Northwest Ohio has several organizations dedicated to helping survivors of domestic abuse and human trafficking. One of those is Butterflies 15, and next Friday they're holding their sixth annual fundraiser to continue their work helping survivors. I'm here with founder and executive director Tina Robinson. Tina, thank you so much for being here this thank morning. Thank you for having us. Of course. Us. Now, tell us a little bit more about Butterflies 15. What do you guys do? Okay. Uh, Butterflies 15 is a drop-in center here in Toledo. And, of course, we don't say where it is for safety reasons. But we assist women um, with case management. We help with um, getting IDs, birth certificates. Um, Bible studies, because we are a faith-based organization. Um, we also help with getting these women um, whatever they need in order to move forward, uh, TPO, or temporary restraining order, or any other um, obstacles they might have, we help them get through it. And I like that you said it's a drop-in center, that anyone can come in at any time, essentially. Yes, ma'am. Great, and I know next week is your annual New Beginnings fundraiser, the sixth one. What can people expect? Well, we're going to have an awesome time, of course. We're having a dinner. We're having a silent auction, raffle, and we have a guest speaker who's sharing her story of her surviving a human trafficking and substance abuse. We'll also have a DJ and a cash bar. And you mentioned, you know, having a speaker who was a survivor themselves. Why is it important to hear directly from a survivor? Well. The guests that we have need to understand exactly where these guests or where these women are coming from. You know, they can hear it on TV, and but that's that's not the same as hearing it directly from a survivor herself. Right, right, definitely. I mean, it's to hear that firsthand account. I mean, it's exactly, going to be very inspiring. Her story, I'm sure, will be very inspiring. So I think yes. that'll definitely make an impact for for people who do come out to the fundraiser, and for those that do come out to the fundraiser. The, the money raised there, what does that go towards? Well, the money goes to us being able to help with the research and getting the help that these women need. Um, like I said, IDs, birth certificates, sometimes they might need a bus pass. If we don't have the funds to help, then they're stuck not being able to get things accomplished that they want to get accomplished, to move forward and not just be a survivor, but a thriver. And all that stays here in Lucas County. Of exactly. Course. It stays right here, Toledo. And looking ahead to next month, next month is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Why is it so important to talk about this issue? I know sometimes it might be uncomfortable for people, but why do we need to bring it to light? Well, we need to bring it to light because every six seconds, a woman is being in domestic violence. And a lot of times it's from just from um, someone that's close to them, their significant other. And if we don't bring awareness, then these women aren't going to get the help that they need. Um, one out of 15 children that see domestic violence happen will go through it themselves. Oh wow. Whether it's being a domestic violence person themselves um, or being um, a survivor, one who's going through it. So these children need to be um, brought aware of domestic violence as well. And uh, I do want to ask you one more question. For those sure. that can't make it to the fundraiser next week, how can people still help? I, I think you need volunteers, correct? We do, we do. We volunteer at the Huntington Center and at the Mud Hens, work in concession stands, and this is how we keep our day-to-day -day money going, our funds, to keep us open. So if we can't get volunteers to help us at these events, we're not able to make money to keep our doors open. Tina, thank you so much. Again, you can volunteer. And if you do want to make it out to the fundraiser next week, you can learn more about it. It's next Friday at the Glass City Pavilion. We have ticket information on our website, WTOL.com. We'll be right back.